Let's use the dulce de leche or boiled milk that we made the other day to make no churn dulce de leche ice cream. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. So this is all we're going to need. This is a can of sweetened condensed milk that I already opened from the can. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. In this little bowl in the front I have a pinch of salt. This is our homemade dulce de leche. And of course we always start off with two cups of heavy whipping cream that I'm going to go ahead and whip right now. So here we are again guys. That pinch of salt. And one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And we work this, stir it in real well because remember after we get through with the stirring, we're gonna have to start folding our heavy whipping cream. And you know I always tell you guys to whip this to stiff peaks. Let me show you what stiff peaks are. See, it's not, what's the word? It's not limbery, it's not soggy. And at, at about seven or eight minutes of using this hand mixer on high, it'll be kind of foamy and soggy, but see how it's peaky, like that? So that's what that is, okay? So let me go ahead and eject my feet right there. And we always start with half, just so we could have an opportunity to work it in real well. And remember, we fold. Okay, so I'm done working in my heavy cream and it doesn't matter if it's kind of lumpy like that because we're going to be folding some more when we add the next ingredient, okay? So it's time to add our boiled milk or dulce de leche and here I have my little bowl from the last time that we made it. I'm just going to put it in in little pieces all over. Just like that until we know if we have enough. I don't know if I'm going to use this whole can. This is a whole can right here. But we'll see. Let's fold that in and see how that starts looking. So I ended up using the whole can of the boiled milk. And the reason I took the time to like put it in there in chunks is because I want to get it in chunks when the ice cream is done, okay? So let me get my bread pan, we're going to pour this out and set it in the fridge, or in the freezer rather, I always say the fridge, for like 8 hours, okay? Here we go, just pour it in our little bread pan, and I told you guys I like these rubber ones that I have, and just use your spatula to clean it out real well. level it off and then put it in the freezer for eight hours. See you back here in eight hours. All right, so here's the finished product of our dulce de leche ice cream. Oh, I like how this looks already. Look, Jada. <laughs> look, guys. That's awesome, huh? Bits and pieces of our chunk of boil, chunks of boiled milk. Awesome! You guys have to try this one because this looks so good. Look. <laughs> I didn't even see when you made this one. Yeah, I've been cranking them out, girl. Getting this ready for my birthday party. Okay. To purchase copies of my book, just visit my website at bearpantryshow.com and click on the store tab. Our ice cream came out just wonderful. I really think we have the science to this no churn ice cream thing locked down. Remember that it's two cups of heavy whipping cream that's with the stiff peaks and make sure you do that correctly or the ice cream won't come out great. One can of sweetened condensed milk, the vanilla extract that we'll start trading that out in the future for other extracts, a pinch of salt and whatever you're going to fold into this ice cream to make it your own. 
I am so glad that we chose to do dulce de leche today and I'm also glad that we chose to make that boiled milk or the dulce de leche from scratch. I don't like getting that stuff from the store that's already made for me because it tends to have an aftertaste. You know, sometimes I'm always discussing like a conspiracy theory that I have in my brain with Joe about that dulce de leche that you get from the store. I wonder if the companies that make it actually boil the milk like the way we do to make it homemade or if they cook it like on an open stove or something first and then put it in a can. My reason for saying that is because look, this is a can of boiled milk that I made in the crock pot a while back and if you notice the can looked distressed. But when you get the can from the store, it doesn't look ashy and distressed and stuff like it's been through something. It looks shiny and new. So I kind of wonder what they do to get that dulce de leche. I wonder if they do what we do, right? But anyways, this is an awesome, awesome recipe. I'm sure if you try it, you're going to like it. Remember, I always give my warning. This is summer and we're doing a lot of summer treats. Don't pick out on it. Just serve yourself a little small serving. Don't eat it every day of the week. Save it for like once a week. You know, I, I don't eat all these things. I've, I've always had issues with my weight. And basically, I really and truly try not to eat these things like this. I'll eat just a little two or three tablespoons and it's done. You know, I'm going to save all my sweet treats and delights that I want to eat for my birthday party. And, and I do that. I save up my stuff, you know, for a day that I'm just going to sit there, savor it and enjoy it. And I want you guys to do the same because I don't want you guys to get sick while you're watching my show because this is not the health show, okay? This is just bare pantry meals, things that you can make, uh, you know, from your kitchen that doesn't have anything. And that's why I promote the show that way as bare pantry show. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, for liking, for picking up the book, for sharing the show with your friends and family, and for all that you do to support me. Until I see you guys again, take care.